Yo, what's up, boys? I'm playing Overprime. It's Paragon the Overprime. If you don't know what Paragon is, it was a game made by the same people that made Fortnite, but it's a MOBA like Smite, and it was doing very well. And then they closed it down completely to so focus won. all of their assets we did it. on Fortnite, which makes sense because they're they're like a probably nearly a trillion dollar company at this point, right? So, um, it's it's insane. But what they did was they sold all the assets to Paragon, and they there's a cup a couple companies that bought them. Uh, this one, and then there's another Paragon remake called Predecessor. I personally have not played Predecessor, but I can say I love this game. I love it. So I'm going to tell you guys what's going on. I'm going to explain everything I can. And um, we're just going to go from there. So every, there, not every, but there's so many items in this game right off the bat, right off the bat. Hold on. Let me turn off my green chef thing so you guys can actually see. Um, as you see my items, they are one, two, and three. I have a item that basically, if you've played League of Legends or, you know, obviously Smite, I have audiences from both, but from, uh, League of Legends, this is called Smite from Smite. It's called Hand of the Gods. It basically does true damage to minions and your true damage scales based on your hero's level. <coughs> Excuse me. You also heal 10% of your total health plus an additional 100 when you smite. So you want to do it towards the end of the buff. I'm a jungler. Um, technically, I'm a solo laner, but I, I play him in the jungle because he's very fun to me. His name is Fang Mao. Um, <coughs> the jungle clear, you're going to have to bear with me. It is atrociously slow in the early game. There is nothing worse than the early game jungle clear. But I heal every auto I get, or I heal every auto that I do. So I'll be fine because of my, my jungle starter item. Um, but I'm starting at red buff right now, in case you're wondering what this is. This is red buff, and red buff in this game... Red buff in this game is basically... It does true damage on auto attacks, and it slows them. I'm going to gank mid because that's... Pretty much the meta is to gank. Well, okay. I'm going to seal a, a last hit or two. I'm going to go to my blue, and then I'm going to gank duo. I will probably be under leveled because that gank was just awful. But it happens. So, I guess I'll go through the abilities now. Um, my So, the abilities are Q, E, R, and then... Obviously, your, your auto attack is just holding left mouse button. And then you have a right mouse button. My right mouse button, <clears throat> it teleports me to a certain distance. I have everything on, um, on like, quick use. Like, basically, I only have to click it once, and, and that's it. So, if I right click, it teleports me. And it does damage to anyone I pass through. My E is this little spin attack that does good damage. My Q, once I get it, I don't have it yet. Hold on, he's going to jump attack me. Um, my Q is a shield that I can add on. It, it grants me a shield that absorbs damage for three seconds. And um, my ultimate... My ultimate is basically, like, if you've played League of Legends, like I said, if you've played League... My ultimate is basically Garen ultimate, or I guess in my terms, the closest one is like Scylla ultimate. But basically, I jump up in the in the air. I jump up in the air. I slam down, and uh, I do big amounts of damage to everyone. Come on. No. Oh, he killed her. He killed her. Let's go, Murdoch. That's my ADC. My ADC killed her. And basically what he did, because you saw him, he was all the way back there. How could he possibly kill someone over there? Um, basically, what Murdoch can do is he can crouch down and ha he has infinite auto attack range when he crouches down, but they become missiles, which have a very long travel time. 
And um, he actually just led a missile into that man's feet and killed him for me. Huge gank. Huge gank. Good stuff. Are they fighting? Look, I'd love to fight, but I got to clear my boy. I'm, on, I'm level three still. All right, I'll get my Q. So when you sprint, by the way, there is a sprint mode. Oh my gosh. If you get hit during the sprint mode, then, um, whoa, that's cool. I've never seen that before. If you get hit during the sprint mode, you actually get rooted. Hold on. I'm fighting someone. I'm not winning this fight, so I'll run away. Are my boys okay? Yeah, they're fine. They're fine. Oh, hello. Oh, you are way too low, bro. Who do you think you're dealing with? Who do you think you're dealing with? No shot, Capitan. You're not chasing me. Close. Alright, now I told you I heal after every hit, so I'm gonna try to kill this. They are gonna gank. I'm gonna have to smite this to heal. Oh, you're annoying. You're annoying. Oh, but you are not capable of qb wanting my boy. Where are you going? I'm gonna wait for him to sprint and teleport onto him. Alright, he's not sprinting, so I'm just gonna fight. Oh, this was a mistake. Murdoch is, isn't next to me. I thought Murdoch walked up with me, but he just crouched down and started lobbing autos, which is okay in some situations, but not in that situation. <clears throat> All right. So basically another thing that is <clears throat> more League of Legends like than it is Smite like. Oops. Those little jump pads you can do right there are going to, they're going to send you launching and immediately put you into sprint mode. But sprint mode takes about three seconds to to charge up, and then once you're charged up, you <clears throat> are obviously sprinting. But if you get hit or do any ability, your sprint ends and you are rooted. So you need to be really careful about when you sprint. Alright. Our allied tower is under attack. I'm gonna just try to do something here, I guess. Man, she is annoying. That character is annoying. I don't even know what her name is. But I can tell you that she's annoying. <laughs> I don't think you win the fight, actually. Perfect. Perfect. Massive kill. I just took a tower shot on accident. Uh, our mid laner is AFK. Oh, he DC'd. Our mid laner is DC'd. So I'm going to have to mid lane this game, I guess. I don't love that. But honestly, Feng Mao can do anything really well. So it's why I like playing him so much. I feel like his character is one that just... Is extremely good at doing anything. Alright, so I bought um I bought a vamp shroud item. Vamp is basically lifesteal. But um the item I bought gives me power, cooldown, and health, which I'm a warrior, so all of those stats are good. And then it gives me bonus AoE damage, which I always build in the jungle first, because obviously jungle you need clear, right? So bonus AOE damage, but it also works in lane. So, as you can see. And this game is, again, more like League in the sense where if you don't get the last hit, then you actually don't get any gold. So, last hitting is extremely important in this game. What level are you? You're 5 and I'm 7. You can't even look at me without dying. I will, I will kill you. Oh, I'm getting ganked. I think that's what that ping meant. I think that ping meant I'm getting ganked. Oh, but instead he is getting ganked. I'm going to run over there, see if I can help him. Um, actually, he he handled that 2v1 easily. What a king. Good stuff. Oh, 
Oh, you. You cannot even come close to fighting me. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, are you backing? Are you backing? Oh, he backed. All right. I'm going to see if I can take mid tower to relieve some pressure. Towers work the exact same way they do in Smite, by the way. Who do you think you're messing with, my bro? You think you can just TP on me and fight me? I'll end you. I'll end you. Um, I'm going to gank. I'm going to ping my way over there. I'm coming. I'm coming. There's no way this guy lives. Oh, he blinked, dude. He blinked. Oh, he teleported. Damn. So there's these teleports in every aspect of the map. Um, there's... I'll, I'll show you real quick once I clear this wave. There's... You see these portals right here? This portal teleports me here, and this tele this portal teleports me here. So there's some big differences. I think I can 2v1 these people. Yeah, I can definitely 2v1. I just killed that guy. By the way, that big slam down was my ult. I think that's the first time I used it, so. <clears throat> yeah, that big slam down was my ult. Um, I'm going to push this wave. That guy's getting dove, I think. And I would love to be there for him. But because it's a 4v5, I really have to, like... I really have to be everywhere right now. This is... This is a stressful game. <laughs> but winning a 4v5 is actually possible in this game. It's extremely difficult, don't get me wrong. But it is possible. Alright. Red buff acquired. The maximum level in this game, by the way, is... is uh, I believe it's 18. That little thing I just killed just gives me a bunch of mana, which obviously I need right now. Yep. Oh, he fucked it up, dude. I think I can kill him here. Ah, uh, he teleported away. That's fine. That's fine. I'm going to see if I can do their blue buff. I probably cannot because I assume their jungler is going to get mad at me and come and try to kill me. Their jungler is... Countess. Countess is basically like a magical Loki. And then there, there's a physical Loki in this game as well called Kalari, who is a character that I like playing a lot. She doesn't have the same kind of like damage as Loki, but the only reason I call her Loki is because she has a stealth. But something that I need to I need to say is in this game you actually what are you doing perfect oh I died because I was stunned I died because I was stunned damn good play good play um this gives me 300 health let's see do I want attack speed or cooldown reduction I feel like because I have to mid, I actually want some the attack speed. Tower is under attack. And as you can see, this item... I'm respawning right now. But this item has an active. So if you see in my, my item selection under me right there. Um, if I press 3, it will actually activate the item. And what that item does is 150% of my physical power to nearby enemies. And then slows them for three, uh, 4 2 seconds by 30%. So it's a really, really good active. And it's a very, very short cooldown. Like, I'll, I'll slam it here. Um, I actually can win this, I'm pretty sure. I just needed her to come in closer. No. 
Nah, I, I, I probably could have... I wanted to blink on that girl that's low with that little red dot thing on her. I wanted to blink in and try to alter, but I feel like I might have died if I went for that, so I just I just went away. By the way, this, uh, this jungle starter item, you can upgrade it. And when you upgrade it, it actually acts as... You, you can smite players. You don't have to smite only jungle buffs. I normally upgrade that item after I um, I have two completed items. So I think I'll probably upgrade it next. But basically what it does is it does true damage and it slows them. It does true damage and it slows them once it's upgraded. So you see this is the upgraded version. If used on an enemy hero, it steals 20% of their movement speed, which makes me faster and them slower. And then does 90 true damage because it does 30 per second for three seconds. I want to gank solo. I haven't been active in solo lane. I feel bad about it because he's been kind of 2v1ing. Uh, he's not here. Attack this. Because I don't know where this person is, but I know we can take this tower if it's full The enemy tower is under attack. Nice. All right. I want to gank. But I also want my red buff. Yeah, they're kind of being really mean to this mid laner. Because he did come back, but he's level 4. And everyone else is like level 11 and shit. So, the enemy team is going to abuse the shit out of him for a while. So, I'm going to have to I'm gonna have to baby him a little bit. Which is okay. I don't mind. I don't want to steal his farm. So. Okay. They ran. They ran. They didn't want a piece of this. Understandable. I'm pretty cracked. I'm doing pretty well, actually. Hello? What are you doing? What are you doing? That was the support. That was the Fae right here. And for some reason, she just assumed she could fight me and got clobbered on. Like, absolutely clobbered. I'm going to do this and I'm going to smite it last second. It should. My smite should do about 800, so. Because, like I said, your smite scales up with level. I haven't looked at the actual, like, numbers of things, so I don't know exactly how much it should do. Oh, we can definitely kill her. That girl is way too pushed up. There's four of us here. Alright. Massive gank on her. I want to TP to solo, see if I can get a massive gank over here. Nope. Nope, no one over here. That's fine. I will uh, I can... Uh, yeah, I'll upgrade my starter. And then I'll build some components for the fully upgraded one. Um, I don't know if I ever actually finished that thought. But what I was going to say about items was... The item building is more like League. Where you have to build components of your items before finishing the full item. And each component gives you like a, a certain stat that the full item gives you a little bit more of, you know? Um, I'm going to level up my Q now. My Q is going to give me more, more tankiness when I fight people, which I think is, is good. Hello. Oh, I stole that. You are so mad. Okay. He ran. It's fine. Um, I smited the blue away from him because the person who gets the buff, it's not like smite where you drop the buff and whoever wants it picks it up. It's the person who gets the last hit of the buff camp gets the buff. And obviously I wanted the blue buff because I'm the jungler and I'm running around trying to help everyone at the same time. So I 
perfect. So me getting that kill, by the way, is, is massive for two reasons. One, obviously it, it gets me further ahead. But um, the main reason is that if I get a kill with my alt, I can use it again for free for the next, I believe, eight seconds. So it's like Achilles alt, I guess. If you get the kill, you can use it again. If not, you can't. Alright, I'm the highest level in the game. Spawned. I'm just gonna try to abuse these people. I'm on my way, Murdoch. Don't worry, buddy. I'm here for you, puppy. I wanna kill this guy first because he's the support. And now we go for the ADC. My ult comes up in a second. Oh, it didn't kill. Unlucky. Oh, but I do have people here. I don't think I'm scared of anyone here. Yeah, we do a lot. I think we go for tower and then we kill him. Hello? Oh, they surrendered. <laughs> Yo, they surrendered a 4v5. Because I was such a menace to their team. Oh my gosh. GG, boys. Our, our Decker hit it with the let's go. That's our support. Decker's a support. Muriel is a mid. Muriel is a support, but she was playing mid. Murdoch is the ADC we had. Severog is the solo. There was actually two Severogs in that game. Let's look at the player damage stats. Player damage is this number right here. I did 15,000. Murdoch did 9,000. And their Fae, which I think was their ADC for some reason, did 9,000. It's not bad, honestly. 9,000 with the Fae is pretty good because she does not do a lot of damage. All right. Well, there's a little, I guess, cliff notes of uh, Paragon. It's a very, 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 very fun game. I actually love playing it. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. If you want to see more Paragon or Overprime content, it's the game is called Paragon the Overprime. So, you know, you can call it whatever you want. But uh, if you want to see more Paragon or Overprime content, just make sure to leave a comment and... Uh, like the video and make sure you share it and if it does well then you can guarantee i'm gonna make some more so thank you guys for watching peace